You want to straighten your UV shells in a cloth mesh like this one. The unfolds didn't come out straight. There are many ways to do this. One of them that's really good, I recommend, is Gridify UVs by Malcolm341. It works really great on a lot of objects, usually a lot of hard surface objects that are of the simpler kind. Run it like that, works really fast, straightens the whole shell and keeps the aspect ratio between the edges here in case you have different densities and loops that are closer to each other. Malcolm did a great job with this one and it was one of the best additions to Maya in recent memory. Although it runs great on a lot of objects, sometimes it can get a little bit slower with more complicated objects, especially with the organic nature like this cloth here and things that have higher density usually. This is also the case for the straighten UVs option here in Maya and no matter what settings you change here it will always take a very very long time and usually doesn't give really good results although the speed is the huge issue here and Malcolm's script over here does a much better job but let me show you just the native one how that works so with these shells selected I will time it and I'll start the timer and click straight UVs there you go let's see how long it takes Now that took 10 minutes and 41 seconds, which is obviously unacceptable, really. And the result is almost perfect, but they got some vertices that are off the grid, some like this and some warping happening. Not too bad. You can fix it really easily and get in there and do it. But who wants to do that? And also who wants to wait 10 minutes and 41 seconds? This is because Maya is really slow, these kinds of processes, and it runs it on the CPU and it's not even multi-threaded. So enter Ryzen UVs. It's really great, especially for the straightening of UVs. I personally prefer to cut up the seams in Maya here using the the 3D cut on sew tool. Doing this, and then I got the cut right there, and then I like to straighten it in Ryzen UVs. But the problem is you have to constantly keep exporting back and forth, and you lose the mesh names, material assignments, etc. So that's what this great script by Eric Spellerberg solves. It creates a bridge between Maya and Ryzen UVs. There are other similar bridges available for other softwares if you're using another software other than Maya. This is the one I use and I really recommend. It's excellent. This makes exporting meshes between Maya and Ryzen UVs really fast. So I have it here on my shelf, I run it, and then it has the option to run Ryzen UVs. And there you go, starts up. Now I go back to Maya. I select all the meshes and they don't even have to be combined. You can leave them as separate meshes. And as you can see, the objects are separated and named. And let's say I have a material on them. Let me unfold these again. So they go back to their original wobbly state. And you wouldn't be texturing these as they are right now because it's very hard to fit them in the UV space and to get the maximum resolution as well as run fabric textures on it directionally. It's so much better for many reasons to straighten them. So here you go, I select all the shells. Then with the script window open, I hit export. Now I go to Ryzen UV and it's automatically been imported for me. I didn't have to import it. That's what the script does. Now I hit F4 on the keyboard to go to UV shell selection mode. Select all the shells and then hit this button right here and bam. It took a second to do it, which is something that Maya took 10 minutes and 40 seconds to do. Really, the results speak for themselves with the Ryzen UVs. Quick pack here, and then I hit Control S to save this. I go back to Maya, and with the same object selected, I hit Import. And there you go, it imported the UVs, kept the material, kept the naming, and it all happened in a matter of a few seconds. I super recommend this script, and when used in tandem with Malcolm's script here for more simpler objects, especially the hard surface stuff, it's a really stellar combo. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.